You're listening to Conservative Talk Radio. Cool guitar riff at the front, so you know we're got high blood pressure. We're yeah, cool. we're, we're addicted off to pills. In a cool way. Pill addicted to pill. I had a uh, I slipped a disc uh, 17 years ago, changing the time on a VCR, and so now I still do 240 milligrams of oxycotton every single day. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it started because of my slipped disc. <laughs> My injury that I sustained while arguing with the employees at Ames over a discount. Dude, that's where racism comes from. It's from Ames. You guys remember Ames? The store? Was it an electronics store? No, nah, it was like, um, like a home and garden. Did a bunch of shit. They sold like hammocks and train sets and pots for plants. <laughs> hammocks and train sets? <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of shit. The only thing I know, there was an Ames that went out of business. This is back in my dad's drinking days, and it was like a Saturday afternoon, and he saw that they were going to have like a going out of business sale, and there was a, a model, like a slot car set. You know what slot cars are? Oh, yeah. There was a slot car set that he wanted to buy, so he went to Ames for that going out of business sale, and he bought it, and he took it home, and he had a couple of beers and set it up, and it just wasn't working, <laughs> so he brought it back to Ames, and then... Uh, all sales are final. I had to sit there while he screamed at the top of his lungs. <laughs> and they threatened to call the police. Yeah, you can't you can't try to return something from a going out of business. Well, so. Yeah, well, he got his money back. Did he? Yeah, I just remember having to sit there while he screamed. That's always a weird thing, watching your parents deal with customer service to get returns done. Yeah, you know what's so funny? They do some really despicable things. <laughs> they, they did, but uh, it was embarrassing because, I mean, I started working when I was 15, and I always would just work shitty jobs. Uh-huh. And... My dad, like, didn't have to get a bullshit job until he was, like, 49 years old. Mm -hmm. Like, he just worked as a photographer, and then his business failed, and then he, like... Then he went work. retail. Yeah, he had to work in retail. And I remember prior to that, he'd be like, no, let me tell you something, because I'm the customer. He's, like, one of those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. like, you don't understand how much of a piece of shit oh, you are. Oh, no. And then he just started making $8 an hour, you know, stocking shelves. And then suddenly he's like, I don't understand it. People just treat you like shit. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, you've been doing that your whole fucking life. So That's so sad. I hope you have a fucking heart attack. Yeah, that shit turns people around really fast. While asking permission to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Somebody who's 17 years old. Fucking grown man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is uh, Stav is gone. This is our first uh, no Stav episode. Yeah, we have Hell to. Yeah, uh, bitch. where'd he go? Who knows? No one knows what happened to him. He went to Greece. Gr yeah, large <laughs> hole a, in the is floor. That's a cool way. How long did you spend working on that one, Adam? Uh, about three, four days. Yeah. I'm, when we do the it's podcast, my memos. and we mentioned that Stav's gone, I'm going to say he went to Greece. Yeah, that's gonna really kill. People love it when I mispronounce words. That's yeah. like one of one of my the things people love most about me. It's gonna be funny when you have a, a spindly half Korean son that despises you and is an alt right video game <laughs> uh, MRA type who just fucking hates your stupid mispronunciation jokes and hates that he's half Asian. Uh yeah yeah that that sounds about right that's, yeah <laughs> that's he's, not, gonna, be he's gonna hate that show. he's half Asian oh they that's they the they get worst. angry dude there's a Reddit for half Asian people and they're all furious that really? video game guy is half Asian the one that's the Gamergate guy that's like on the news all the time what's his name um I don't fucking know I don't know why Elliot Rogers was half yeah, Asian Elliot Rogers half Filipino <laughs> yeah that's there the you worst go. combo white Filipino. When the two master races combine, <laughs> it's it's uh, the, the other master race is Filipino. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it's Asian. Okay. You know. Sure. So you combine white and Asian what? to create. I mean, those are the two two of the three races. You're just saying that black people are. No, there's Mexican, there's Puerto Rican, there's... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, there's not three races. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's one, black, Asian, races. and this, white. If you go by, like, the weird government census, yeah. there's, like, yeah, there's, like, four or something. There's, there's all Caucasoid, that, like, Mongoloid, and Negro. <laughs> oh, I follow you. You're going by the old school shit. The trilogy. That's, yeah, that's how I go. The Holy the holy Trinity. That's what the... The, the head is Mongoloid, right? And then the uh, heart is... Uh, the whole the uh -huh. sign of the, the cross. <laughs> the Holy Ghost is the Negroid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the, why the KKK dresses up like ghosts. Plane. 
<laughs> it's in homage, actually. Yeah, so Stav's gone. Uh, yeah, that's where you got to address the la- lack of the elephant in the room. There you go. Nice, <laughs> nice. Definitely Whoa. didn't say that and earlier. Our, and it definitely didn't say that two minutes before the show started. And uh, we also got to introduce our... No, we don't. Look, look <laughs> at the show outline that I created. Oh, okay. Sorry. Please take a look at the notes that I spent. I didn't know I that this was chronological. I thought that we floated around no. and had to hit do you, them. Do you guys okay, usually fine. do notes like no, this? No, we never do notes. No, this is Nick the wants it to be ever. good while Stav's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he wants it to be really good while Stav's gone, so Stav appreciates come down more. Yeah, I want him to listen to the podcast. <laughs> this is like, the we're going to have a good show. We're doing like, notes. Like like I used a template in Microsoft Word. <laughs> yeah. It's good, it's, dude. Yeah. The, it looks really nice. It's got bold headlines and shit i like it yeah you looks got like a like you know it's like you hand out an office but for the most like retarded anarchic you know if i let me let me tell you something this is how how many problems i have if you guys if i had done this before you were here if you notice the last bullet point the s is unbolded for some reason <laughs> And I would have thrown these away and fixed it and reprinted them. Yeah, that would can have you give me a pen so I can bolt that S? Yeah, that looks like shit. Yeah, man. it looks. I'm now. I'm kind of want to throw this whole what thing. The fuck away. is wrong with you? Go off. Screen. You ever get like imposter syndrome? <clears throat> like, uh, yeah, but then it's like, like I I shouldn't be qualified to have all this that I have. But then it's like, what am I actually doing? To like have a cum podcast, you know, it's uh-huh. not like. This should be a doctor's job. <laughs> 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 I, 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 what if he crashes the ship? I don't know. It's not really anything to worry about. Uh, yeah, so Stav's gone. Where did Have he we go? Talked about that yet? Yeah. Point number two. Why is he there? <laughs> well, yeah, he went to Greece to get his dick cut off. Yeah, uh-huh. he's sure. getting the surgery <clears throat> in Greece. I don't know. Yeah, Stav's gone on vacation. Uh, uh to Greece, kind of rude of him to plan a three-week vacation. That's a long. That's it's a long <laughs> time to go on a vacation. Yeah, uh, at nearly thirty years old. I've been w- waiting to get that cat out of the bag, um, and I've been setting timers for each one of these bullet points. So my the timer's <laughs> up for that. One. So we're not talking about Stav anymore. All right. Uh, no, we are. We're going to move on to the next one. How do we edit all of his laughter out of the old episodes and add them as backing vocals for the new Better Come Town? I think that this is going to be the biggest problem we run into. Yeah, you know. is it him not doing the ah, 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 whenever he's tired of that, fake laughing? Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, do uh, I have to like fake laugh and like no, fluff a bunch? No, absolutely not. And Please don't. Be talk about being it bothers me, and, but hey, you know, whatever makes the clock run out. All right. That's true. He does eat up about 20 minutes with his ridiculous laugh. That's how fat he is. He eats time. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in the fourth dimension. He's, he's a, a langolier. <laughs> so those things from that movie that fly around and eat up airplanes yeah, and shit. Yeah, this is not the right podcast. I don't know what you're talking about. We yeah. We don't know that, any Jake? of the Game of Thrones stuff. It's a made-for-TV movie from the 90s. Sounds like Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I watched some made-for-TV movie last night that was pretty fucking bad. It was on Netflix. It's a live where it's like, yeah, John Malkovich is in it. And John Malkovich is in it for like three seconds at the beginning. But they like in put him in a poster? In a flashback. Or oh, like no. a, the whole movie is a flashback. It's mm-hmm. John Malkovich in the camera and then he sh- it shows a picture. It's about some like a uh, 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 rugby team that crashes in the Andes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's so, bad. Uh, yeah, it's bad. Oh it, was, no. it, it seems like it's a made-for-TV movie because it's the guy that's like, we got to start eating people, and the other guy's like, are, are you freaking nutso? <laughs> have you have you lost your gosh mind over here? <laughs> you know that's they don't. No one has any real emotion, which is kind of the rule for TV movies. Uh huh. So no like, one else just, famous was in let's it. Let's just get to the next commercial break. Ethan Hawke is in it. Okay, he's yeah. famous. Um, no, it wasn't particularly good. I mean, maybe it wasn't made for TV, but it was just a bizarre how mm-hmm. bad it was. Hell yeah, bitch. Yeah. So I'm trying to starve. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good, that's, dude. Hell, Thanks. Hell yeah, bitch. He says that a lot, right? <clears throat> that's nice. Should he I, would say. Should I get fatter for this? You get to suck his dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's did you suck say. him no, off? No, really though. We should. I should just go back to old episodes and and package all of his canned laughter like they do with shows now. It's it's all old canned laughter. It was just oh, all it's stop. dead people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people like to point that out. All those people are dead. Do you know? They don't know. They're they might saying, be alive. They're yeah. probably alive. Yeah, they probably actually have a studio audience. Um, what multicam sitcoms are? I guess there are a bunch still. On. They, well, they canceled. Uh, uh, Carmichael? No. 
Is that still on? No, I think they canceled it. Yeah. Or they gave up on it or whatever. Apparently it was good. Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't see a sitcom being good anymore. You know, you watch yeah. them and then even if they are good, it's, mm-hmm. there's something feels dated about it. Yeah. The idea of a, you know. John Mulaney sitcom. tried to bring it back on you his know, John Mulaney's shit was like a, an homage to television. Yeah. All those fucking nerds do that thing where they're like, you know, the peak of my, my co- comedic career is going to be like, uh, we're going to do like an homage to like the old fucking, uh, the fat guy used to hit his wife, the honeymooners yeah. or whatever. Like when Louis had like a three camera thing, it yeah. was supposed to be like this really smart. It's like, not an play homage. It. It's painting by numbers. You're not, it's not, you're not just plugging in jokes. About it. Right. You're, you're yeah. taking a format that used to work that doesn't really anymore. And you're like, Hey, let's bring that back because yeah. there was a couple of good things that use that format. Mm-hmm. You forget that fucking like every single television season had like, my smart wife is following the stupid husband coming up after a fat guy. Wife is too hot for him. You know, like yeah. that it was a million shows like that. And it was 28 episodes and a few, season. Yeah. Very few of them were, were good. You know, yeah. it was a, uh, uh, pretty good that, that gets slept on uh, grounded for life. Remember that show? Oh yeah. With that guy, Donald Logue, Donald Logue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's his name. I know him from blade. Yeah. Yeah, he's in Blade. He's also in <laughs> Sons of Anarchy, another a three camera sitcom. My next door neighbor, my new next door neighbor, she uh, sits in her car and smokes cigarettes all day long and watches Sons of Anarchy on her laptop. Adam's got some great new neighbors. <laughs> yeah. this, poor, this Puerto Rican guy that steals bicycles and he's probably like sixty five years old. <laughs> he could be anywhere from forty five to sixty. He could be anywhere old. from twenty years old to eighty seven years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I work with a guy Victor? who I thought was yeah. like fifty, and he's just like this old like Mexican dude, or he's Hispanic or something. Like, but he's he's well, he's, I thought he was old. I asked him yesterday how old he was, and he was like, "I'm 26." <laughs> like, <laughs> no fucking yeah, I'm fucking four years older than him. He's got like a kid and shit. It's all hardened. Yeah. Um, so we have an older Mexican guy with Jake is on the show now. <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah. We got a real a uh, fogey with you. That's guys. the thing is, we got we got it. We bring on Tejano. POC, we bring on POC to the shows anytime we have a fill in. If you guys remember my West Coast episodes that I did with a woman and a black man, well, yeah, that was so, brave of you. Can't call you racist dude. now. Yeah, well, you literally can't. <laughs> I got I got the fucking seal of approval. From <laughs> you just got the 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 two the, the, two. the, Trump, the blacks for Trump guy on your podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, when he, hosting my show with Sheriff David Clark <laughs> yeah. and uh, can't the, call me racist. Right, yeah, one of yeah. those women that writes love letters to prison Nazis. <laughs> when Petey did the show, he was like. He was like, yeah, I, I think I'm a race realist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's because, like, like, black black male comics are, they're, like, alt-right guys, basically. They're, like, MRAs. They started doing... They they're started not full alt-right. alt-right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's what uh, I love about them. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, that's why you keep just... them around, is so you have someone worse than you that's, <laughs> yeah. you know, the right color. I think people like that are just more comic than they are person. Yeah. The people that are just obsessed with getting famous, it trumps everything and they have no argument about, you know, race or whatever. Like they're out of their fucking minds. You know, comics are like bad people. Sure. Well, not all of them. I I consider myself to be a magnanimous, Mm -hmm. benevolent, it's true. You know, sort of Jesus Christ figure (laughs) in the comedy scene. (laughs) Yeah. Sort of uh, this, you know, like I imagine myself as like St. Francis, but instead of a robe, it's just very comfortable gym attire, <laughs> like my enormous basketball. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Nick is wearing about 24 inch long basketball, <laughs> Adidas basketball shorts. He's wearing Jared's basketball shorts. Yeah, he's wearing up to his fucking nipples. <laughs> yeah, long basketball Pulled shorts. up so you can see his balls through the bottom of it. <laughs> you cut a hole for your balls in the bottom of the shorts, right? They go from your nipples to your mid calf. Yeah. And then you, uh, you know, you wear a nice racer tee, like uh-huh. a racer tank. So real like spaghetti string, you know, <laughs> weightlifting shirt. I love that. That's my St. Francis look. And then instead of being surrounded by birds and squirrels, it's just all the open micers. They're crawling all over me, mm-hmm. begging me for <laughs> attention. They have like know? little angel wings and shit. And they're flying around. Right. You. Yeah, exactly. They all respect me and fear me uh-huh. because I could crush them. <laughs> I could easily just put one of the their heads down on a cinder block and crush it. Did, did at, you, my, at 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 my whimsy? 
Yeah, yeah. At my leisure, I could do this. Yeah, that's why you mm-hmm. command a lot of respect. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of how easily I could crush these people. Yeah, it's only because of physical <laughs> prowess. Yeah, yeah. yeah I everyone. hope that man doesn't crush me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so Jake's a POC. Jake, let's talk about your black experience in America. It's great. I don't know what everyone's complaining about. There we go. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> End of episode. It's great being black. I'm yeah. black. How many times have you been arrested? Probably never, right? You're a model citizen. Medicine. never yeah no i just just, just follow the rules and you don't get arrested yeah. you have you been arrested like i lost count like yeah. four or five times <laughs> <laughs> i stopped you know how like didn't you, you reach... get arrested just sitting on a porch once yeah i got arrested drinking a beer on my own fucking porch a couple yeah. years ago i remember that there was that, that day when we were at the apartment you were on like the porch talking about how they never do those warrant roundups and you got arrested <laughs> like seven hours later yeah. <laughs> I got a shit ton of warrants and I never have to worry about it it's like yeah Jake's in jail again <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, that must have been Jake. the first one because i remember just thinking like well you know mm-hmm. it's like i didn't drive a car so i was like well when the fuck is a cop gonna just come up to me and just ask for my id mm-hmm. and then they did that they like, blatantly just did the thing i was like that'll never happen yeah but they also that was like i don't I, you know i don't think cops like started getting more violent like it's more that like you know, the cell phone technology came out to where we could just fucking videotape them. But it did seem like they started getting crazier, you know, like five, six years ago. Yeah. I mean, if, if I think back through my life, I remember like the idea of a police officer was like, you know, even when I was a kid, they fucking just in the attire, they would wear white shirts and or, you know, white, blue or, you know, mm-hmm. whatever color shirt. Yeah. It was like a short sleeve shirt. You know, yeah. They look like a fucking electrician that happened to have like a gun on them and a badge. Yeah. You know, and a dumb like pointed crossing guard hat. And now it's like regular beat cops wear like tactical gear. Yeah. You know, yeah, after like, like 9 11, like a lot of them have their heads shaved. Like imagine the idea of like in fucking, you know, 1985, a cop with his head completely shaved bald. <laughs> like that doesn't, that didn't exist. You know, you know, I've noticed in New York, a lot of Asian cops. Yeah. In Chinatown, what yeah, is a that? lot of Asian cops, and they're all like, "Yo, Tony, where are we going for lunch? <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking starving. I'm trying to get some fucking dumplings." It over is here. really funny when you see that. The, yeah, the Asian guys with <laughs> yeah. the fucking New York accent. Yeah, yeah. There's some of them that have. Uh, uh, they're like Chinese immigrants that are learning English from those guys. So they have like this weird hybrid, like you know, like. Yeah, I've been a long time since I had a nice slice of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Dude, there's, a, there's, a, there's a fucking gun <laughs> store. Swamp rat accent. There's a gun store in Chinatown. Yeah, John's, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, know, and it's on the edge of the fucking Little Italy. Gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the guy in the middle of it, because it's right on the edge of Little Italy, is like this old fucking Asian guy with that Italian accent, and yeah. also like this weird Southern "get the fuck out of my store" gun yeah, thing yeah. going on. I went in there looking for like empty shell casings or something. I forget what. <laughs> it was for and he was like uh you need permit for everything get out of here <laughs> yeah. forget about it do you have permit no reason being here <laughs> hey listen wise guy <laughs> maybe you talk me that way are you you talk me are you you talk me <laughs> wise guy <laughs> like i left the store two minutes ago <laughs> he's still going Just doing <laughs> yeah yeah I walk here. I walk here. I make him offer he no say no to. <laughs> so something funny you find you laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Funny you. Yeah, funny how funny right crown. <laughs> <laughs> right guy amuse you. <laughs> funny how. <laughs> what a great accent. Um. Okay, so I guess where are we at here? So Jake, you're from you're from uh, you're from Houston, Texas. Yeah. Uh, Houston. Is it, are your How people okay How long did okay you call right it Houston now? Street when you moved here? Uh, I was a dick about that before I moved here. I don't really remember. Yeah, I did maybe two weeks of that. I still say Throop. I don't say Troop. Yeah, people say Troop Avenue. Troop. Well, it is Troop. It's not Throop. It's not Throop. It's Troop. What? It's Troop, and it's I think always that's been... The... Nope, you're wrong. It's always been Troop. It's not black people, which you're going to blame it on. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. You were going to say, I think it's West Africans or West Indian people. I think people. that's a band, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought... I, my brain went like Trini on that, too, because it sounds like Troop. Yeah, it know? sounds sort of... Uh, it's like something you nope, yell. West Indian. It's always been Troop. 
Oh, okay. yeah, even bitch. When, even even when the this was a good neighborhood, you know, yeah, filled with the original inhabitants before it was bl- bl- blentrified. <laughs> yeah. there, well, there's that guy on no, my yeah, block. Nobody talks about that. Yeah, the they original. Guys, why are we talking about how this neighborhood was blentrified <laughs> when they started moving in here with their fancy Cadillacs and fuzzy dice? Yeah, that new it's that, lower in the rent. Yeah, that, that old Italian <laughs> guy on my new block making the rent low. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! That guy we saw on, on my new block, like oh, he had an iPad and a Bluetooth oh, yeah. speaker. He's, just he's like, you know the thing kids do where they have like in their like <laughs> that, that small backpack. You know, remember how when we were in high school, that small backpack thing became a hit because it was like, yeah, I don't have any books, so I'm not doing any work. Like yeah, no, yeah, no yeah. binder. I got one shoe in this like foot locker gym bag the thing with like the strings the strings just a bag with strings on it like a like a satchel yeah yeah that shit uh so but you know they put like a a fucking when there's a ubl like speaker like pills like a beats pill in there and they'll like walk around listening yeah 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 do that oh yeah make everyone else listen to your fucking music yeah an 82 year old guy with a like you know fucking uh, like stick ball baseball hat on yeah, yeah. skew <laughs> in that way that only old guys can wear it with yeah, hats yeah. almost completely sideways on their fucking head and he's listening to like Sinatra just blasting yeah. Sinatra blasting Sinatra out of some hidden speaker or somewhere on his body yeah old Puerto Rican street guys are fucking great because yeah. they do like the same shit as their kids but it looks like old wackadoo yeah. music <laughs> mm. <laughs> well this his that he's friends with this guy the Victor guy Victor's amazing. Yeah, who's so, the superintendent of your building? I guess he just. I mean, when I met him, he introduced himself as the mayor of the block. Which blocks don't have mayors? They don't have mayors, and I'm like, I didn't vote, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But but now I kind of respect his uh, his authority. As well, the mayor I like of that the there's a king of the block, and then there's a a, a feudal mayor. I think so yeah, he's he, not the king of the block. He chose a lower. I think he considers it to be like a, a parliamentary a democratic governor. position. Yeah. I'm um, the Duke of, I'm the Earl of uh, this block. Mm-hmm. I mean, he. I literally. You made that joke, the Andre Steakhouse, the you got to give respect to get respect kind of thing. Yeah. I literally have heard that him give that speech to twelve and thirteen year old boys on our block, yeah. mm-hmm. like five or six different times, just shouting at them. Yeah. About how to give respect and be respectful. Meanwhile, and, his like backdrop is piles of stolen bikes <laughs> yeah <laughs> they say he has like 400 <laughs> stolen yeah. bikes it's just, it's just filled with like it could not be any more obvious that this is a bicycle stealing operation <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like no yeah. aim other than just mass collection <laughs> yeah. and it doesn't seem like he's selling them no one's coming by yeah, he was he, like cleaning up a motorcycle the other day i'm assuming he also steals the motorcycles yeah, and then his just or his maybe you trade in the bicycles for the motorcycle like a Chuck E. Cheese thing. Maybe, yeah, that could be. Maybe you can get like three bikes for a uh, motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. Like that'd tickets. be a good trade. I kind of want a motorcycle, uh, but uh, yeah. And then his wife is the one that sits in this immobile car that never moves and smokes stoves and watches <laughs> Sons of Anarchy on her <laughs> laptop. Yeah, that Lexus it doesn't run. Yeah, that white Lexus. Yeah, yeah, and then. So, yeah, so he has, like, you know, there are, like, five or six men that live on my block that are sort of his underlings, respect Victor, uh, respect his, uh, you know, his his reign as mayor of blo- of the block. And uh, last weekend at about 1 a.m., I see him on the street, like, running, like, calling up, drawing up, like, plays. Uh, he, he was, like, holding a football, and he was like, all right, now you run, like, a button hook down that way, and I want to see you run, like, a cross route, like, that way. He's, like, playing quarterback at 1 a.m. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, five different out-of-shape middle-aged <laughs> men on the street. <laughs> it's so, so funny. <laughs> it's just... Uh, yeah, I love him, man. I I mean, I, I really do re- respect him. Oh, yeah, old him. New York Puerto Rican guys are fucking hilarious. They just perpetually are, like... T- like talking at bodega guys yeah, or yeah. just hanging out of windows just yelling at each other <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, and he's got that thing also when like you're like an older uh man you you can only like whisper sort of like oj's friend in that documentary where he's just like yeah, you gotta give respect <laughs> you know yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, like all, danny glover yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah it's that weird new york thing where they have that leathery skin Everything looks peeled back. Like oh yeah, being it's like a fence. maroon skin. Yeah, they yeah. have like all there's all this weird vascularity where you can't tell if they're jacked or not. Strange, they're just like yeah. pointy, sort of. You know. Yeah. 
uh, th- like it's from getting ready to punch people your entire life. <laughs> it's like from the hold that, me back well, pose. You, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Don't, yeah, come at me, bro. You just hold that position for years, <laughs> yeah. and eventually your body is just in a permanently flexed state. You, <laughs> you look, just like, turn yourself pose. into one of those t-shirts of a, like a pit bull with like human arms. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he has a pit bull too, and with human arms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. which he stole. <laughs> so a little dog with <laughs> stolen big human ass his, arms. His it pit rides bull. the bicycles around. That's how he tests it. Yeah. His pit is the same height as my pit but about 100 pounds heavier he like got he that and it's not only fat i mean his his pit is just like buff fat yeah it makes it work out and shit yeah he makes it, it. smushes it into the ground you're doing push-ups now yeah yeah he was like doing lighter tricks next to the dog's head and laughing <laughs> <laughs> lighter the other tricks day. like zippo, yeah, zippo tricks. i tricks. guess there's this other guy that lives on my block who's sort of like a redneck like white dude so i love people and that are like old and 14 at the same fucking time yeah that's what those guys are they're like you know trying to impress people at the bus station kind of guy. exactly yeah and this guy like had a lighter that he like sort of jerry rig to like do, do that thing where it like shoots out like a huge flame like for one second yeah he was just like doing it at his dog and his dog was barking he's like yeah you see coco don't like that coco don't like it when that's I the thing that. is you gotta understand the dog it either likes things or it don't like shit <laughs> there's yeah. two modes that the dog can understand and that's yeah. the kind of intelligence that the dog can appreciate it's two different ways of doing things. <laughs> yeah, they do that. They always do like rap hands, like yeah, while they're yeah. talking to try to seem like wise, but they're right, just saying yeah. a name bullshit. Well, it's because they're old. They get to a certain age where they're like, "Well, I guess I'm smart now. I guess I've like become smart years old." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's you have wise. To dispense yeah. knowledge. Uh, I told you this a long time ago. When I was in jail one time, and they would make you go watch the ju- like go talk to the judge. So you all get handcuffed together, and then like yeah. fucking ten guys have to sit there and and plead with the judge or whatever. And like this one guy who was like a fucking moron the whole time we were in the cell was like, "Watch this" or whatever. And he does the rap hands things. Like the judge is like, "So I see you here. You have like three children," and he's like, "They be infant minds." <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> he's doing this weird speech bag at him like winking at everyone like i fucking nailed it by yeah. you know talking about my children as if they're like humans or something yeah yeah it's fucking weird no i remember when i would just ride the bus around as a teenager it was nothing but like older black dudes that would just be like look here now i'm gonna tell you something about pussy you know? <laughs> and then you just like get a speech about women <laughs> from these like old men. I remember there's like this homeless. I, I'm pretty sure he was homeless. He definitely fucking like smoked crack or whatever. And, mm-hmm. like, I would see him around all the time, and uh, he was like, he asked me for a dollar one time. I was like, you got a cigarette or whatever? Because I was 15, I couldn't buy my own cigarettes. And he was like, motherfucker, I got a whole pocket full of cigarettes. And he pulls out, like, just all these half-smoked cigarettes he found <laughs> in the garbage. <laughs> and then I'm like, I don't want that. I'm like, you can just have a dollar. And he's like, what I will give you is some advice, you know? <laughs> and he's like, uh, now, do you know what pheromones are? And I was like, yeah, they're, like, chemicals that are released by your body. He's like, no. What it is is it smells that come out of your body. The big women want to fuck. <laughs> and he's like, now you got to work out them pheromones. See all these motherfuckers out here wearing cologne and shit. <laughs> and it's like, you just got to build up them pheromones and the women will be attracted to it. And he's like, just making a case for not bathing. <laughs> <Yeah. more. laughs> yeah, that guy was great. Yeah. Motherfucker, I got a whole pocket full of cigarettes. All right, uh, hot take minute headlines. Trump pardons Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Good. Uh, well, we got to ask Jake about that as a... Uh the oh, one, as one of his victims as a yeah. black man yeah for, for all the reasons all the times you went to jail it was always sheriff joe <laughs> yeah um uh it's bad I, what, I don't know what else to throw yeah. with that well i say it's bad because jake says it's bad yeah <laughs> uh yeah that guy fucking sucks He's a i, piece I of say shit. it's good because you know what it shows is loyalty <laughs> there is no argument for that pardon there's no there's in no way is it justified there's no defense of of his mm-hmm. like contempt of court there's no nothing you can say 
to warrant what Trump did. It's not even like, you know, he was facing 30 years in prison. It wasn't like mm-hmm. even that big of a deal. Yeah, it's just like yeah. purely symbolic. I exactly. love how evil Trump is, man. Well, it's not that he's evil. What he is is fiercely loyal. <laughs> <laughs> this was a guy he was like sort of united with on Twitter over like the birth certificate. Yeah, thing. he's like, I will do everything in my power, Mr. Trump, to find the real birth certificate right. of the Arab known. I mean, the as- Reagans let uh, 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 Rock Hudson die of AIDS. Just like, you know, that was friends yeah yeah. they were like ah we don't want to look bad or whatever yeah Yeah. for him to just especially like right after uh charlottesville or whatever you know to know that this is going to make me look like a complete fucking (laughs) asshole (laughs) and just like abject evil and it's like a friend is a friend (laughs) i saw some guy I've, i've faved with a couple of times online i have his back and you know what that is a, a type of, of character you don't see in, in, in any politics. Yeah, it's about friendship. It is about friendship, dude. And it's like, you, honestly, what, it's yeah. one of the most inspiring things I've ever seen <laughs> in American politics. Yeah, that's friendship goals. Uh, the, uh, I saw someone pulled up an old tweet of Sheriff Joe, and he was like, I'm actively working on finding the birth certificate of President Obama on behalf of Donald Trump, who I share a birthday with. Oh, man. And that's I think it. that, I think that, <laughs> I definitely think that the fact that they have the same birthday definitely played. You gotta, you gotta it fucking, definitely. you gotta stand up for your birthday, boy. I will always have the back of Taylor Swift, Steve Buscemi, really? Jamie Foxx, yeah, Ted Nugent. Yeah, I will always Damn. respect my Those twin dragon, yeah. Steven Seagal, who shares the same birthday as me uh, on April 10th. So, yeah. Uh, I, I got David Lynch. Cool. Uh, Lead Belly. He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. That's uh, your fault for not standing uh, up for, your, <laughs> yeah. for being thrown in jail with <laughs> yeah. by Sheriff Joe. My 30th birthday was the inauguration. So, me and Trump are kind of birthday mm. boys. His presidency, was, you know. Lead Belly shot by the police. That would be a good name for a guy that got shot. By the <laughs> he got filled full of lead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. He probably died because of his belly being all leady. He's probably like a heroin guy. Yeah, probably yeah. They made blues like or some shit. Blues guys, yeah. How Let's about a, how about a, like a like one of these like Blake shaped Brooklyn guys? You know, <laughs> like a, a guy that's fat has always been fat, but now that he's like in his late thirties, has convinced himself it's a normal level of fat and that sure. they're not fat. Mm-hmm. One of the and that they're and just they, the in sleeves shape, come that off. They have yeah. mass. I hear a lot of those guys refer to themselves as having mass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Bulk. <laughs> Right, yeah. Uh, you mean Stav? Are we talking about Stav? No, Stav knows he's fat, and Stav's definitely a fat kid. That's yeah, he's been the whole, fat his whole life. Yeah, he's always sure. been fat. That's why he does that naked fat guy thing, because like any of the apprehension about being fat or insecurities, like that gets beaten out of you when you're fucking young, and then you sort of just embrace being a fat guy. Yeah, and then you have sort of like a latent bitterness that never goes away. Yeah, which turns into being, you know, like a <laughs> lecherous. Uh, Jesus Christ, man! What? <laughs> Give him a chance to respond. We're gonna oh, call Stav in Greece. I'm not talking about Stav. I'm talking about you know, like a lot of people. Amber, yeah. your Amazon thing is here. Um, the I'm not talking about Stav. I'm talking about fat guys in general. You mean that you get horny? You think fat men are hornier? Oh yeah. You think why? Why? <laughs> because they don't have sex. Yeah. They so fuck. they so they fixate on sex more. Or you something? know who's not horny is like beautiful Italian men. I think they're pretty horny. No, they're like I am tired of having so much sex. Oh, real Italian, Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not they're Italian friends. American. Like French. Oh no, those guys are on. Uh, they all have the same accent. Okay. It's, oh yeah. It's yeah. all the same thing. The continental <laughs> accent. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I the mean, Lincoln, I, how about a Lincoln continental accent? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm trying to. Go. How about a, a Lincoln continental experience? <laughs> the Lincoln continental breakfast. <laughs> that's, a, that's that's on the menu at our steakhouse. Yeah. The Lincoln. <laughs> the old. The Lincoln continental breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's like you know when they do like the bacon and the eggs, so it's a smiley face, but it's like smirking. <laughs> you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's a, mm-hmm. Right. Like, I'm, am I supposed to eat the feather in the fedora made out of pineapple? <laughs> I don't know if that's garnish or not. Or is the whole thing garnish? Uh, I got I got one. Did you guys see the Nazi do stand-up? 
Chris Cantwell? Yeah, the guy from the Vice documentary. I know that he used to be a stand-up. Yeah, more like Chris Cantwell. Damn, Can't. hashtag the resistance yeah. over here. Come down's part uh, of now, bitch. Fifi. Yeah. Yeah. Call Fifi. Fifi, the resistance. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Mr. Me, sir. Trump. Thinking about Mr. my beautiful President. Queen Hillary today. Your honor, <laughs> Mr. President Donald Jefferson my beautiful, Trump. My my liege. Yeah, I feel like it's already <laughs> my, fucking... My liege. <laughs> my <lady>. liege. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see people share those, those... Holy, I campaigned for you, my liege. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your honor. Uh, you ever see people share those like weird Game of Thrones fucking illustrations of Hillary just like standing in a cave with like light over her yeah, and shit? Yeah, yeah. It's like, my queen, we failed you. Guy Branham had a tweet. <laughs> Somebody posted his Guy Branham tweet where he was like, for all the people criticizing Hillary for not uh, campaigning in Wisconsin, remind her that you didn't campaign yeah i saw it's that like, what what the <laughs> fuck are you t- why, yeah, we were uh, supposed just to remind her that you didn't take a break from your job as millionaire tv writer right to go fucking waste time in a state you don't live in that's what it is every fucking time you tell yeah. people that worked at mcdonald's and shit <laughs> yeah, you were yeah. supposed to just take a ask road your trip boss to, to time fucking off so you can go campaign for your liege also like at the time like i don't know what the fuck was going on in wisconsin right, i don't exactly. work for the clinton campaign yeah anyway the nazis so this feels like already cold news because it's been like a day it sucks the news sucks now he's because in jail now he turned like, himself uh, in he did yeah well that's yeah. but cool. he went to white jail where sheriff joe is yeah we, yeah sheriff joe let him wear regular colored underpants yeah that's uh, so that was just as an aside that was so weird that sheriff joe just got obsessed with pink underpants it was pink everything not just underpants was it like pink Maybe like, like pink shirts scrubs too? yeah yeah the whole like jumpsuit or whatever was he's like pink. oh you're gay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh you're gay <laughs> yeah um uh, wait but what was his stand-up it was probably pretty good Oh yeah, it was fucking it, gold. It's slay, man. Uh, it was his. Uh, li- he was like a libertarian, like edge lord or whatever. Yeah. Like I, I feel like everyone's already seen this by the time this comes out or whatever. But I fucking I saw it, it yesterday and it, like blew my fucking mind because it's like every shithead you see at the end of every open mic that's like you know. Listen up, uh, the Federal Reserve, you know, all this like, you know, weird, edgy shit that they think is going to blow your you, mind. Me, Half the jokes are about right being there. an alcoholic. You never see that guy at open mics. You don't? The libertarian, not here. Oh, okay. I mean, this is, I'm coming from Texas, but, yeah, but yeah, yeah. libertarian politics aside, there's always just somebody who thinks that they figured out all of politics because they read one book and they're What's smarter than everyone. What's his name, Tim, at the Creek in the Cave? He used to be that guy, sort of. Not libertarian. The guy that moved to Syrac back to Syracuse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He used to be that real. I mean, there's just oh, he always wasn't, he wasn't really libertarian. I'm saying he wasn't but libertarian, like, but he politics was that kind outside of, of it, yeah. it's more of a personality thing. You like, you can see why somebody gets drawn in a certain direction because they're just like trying to be like they just want somebody to fucking listen to them and they're yeah, trying yeah, to be yeah. like be respected as like an intellectual for being like I don't like the right or the left Blue, you know like it yeah, blows yeah, your yeah. fucking mind or whatever like it was funny to watch him just like suck like he wore like a shitty leather jacket and like oh hell yeah it's, Bill it's funny to watch how fucking bad Steven Crowder is at stand up oh he's so bad he's I mean it's like and it's not just I'm not one of those people that's like oh this guy's bullshit politics he probably sucks at comedy I would admit it if he was good at comedy there are a lot of good people at comedy that have bullshit politics yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, he's like just so fucking bad at comedy mm-hmm. yeah yeah you know I don't understand who that's supposed to be for it's for com- conservative parents that pay him a shit ton of money he what? should just they should bring back Arthur and he should go back to being one of the voices on I Arthur. think what is not he like at just for laughs or something uh, probably like I think that's where he got his like big debut yeah. start or something. I, I'm not surprised that the industry made a bad bet. Mm-hmm. That doesn't. Oh wow, this guy's great. Have you heard about him? Wow, this guy's great. Oh, this guy's great. That's every agent and manager you ever talk to. Oh, the girls love oh, this him. thing. Yeah, hell yeah, that's what they fucking say. <laughs> the about girls love him. Satello told me that about oh, it's at South by Southwest. And when they they book Brandon Wardell, he's like, "Hey, do you know this kid Brandon Wardell? <laughs> he's nineteen. All the girls love him, dude. Like, every what the fuck time does that have to do the with girls. <laughs> what what girls? <laughs> every yeah. time somebody can halfway decently do stand up and they're like twenty or something, yeah, 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 like yeah. they all get their fucking hooks in them quick because they they were they're trying to like cash in real hard on like a Donald Glover situation or right. something. Yeah, yeah." And then it just doesn't happen. And they end up, you that's, know. That's what happened to me, dude. I got stand up for diversity when I was like 21 or something. And yeah. like, that's what they were all like interested oh, when, in. When, and I was 20, when, I, when I was 21, I had like uh, interest from management, 
without them ever seeing me do stand up once. Yeah, they didn't, even, they didn't even ask. It was literally just that I was like 20, 21 years mm-hmm. old. Yeah, that's all. And it then is. I could do 45 minutes. Yeah. And they were like, wow, that's great. And then they were like, can you read these sides for these movie auditions? And yeah. I was like, well, I'm a stand up comedian. I'm not really an actor. So, mm-hmm. sure, but, you know. What did you try out for? Uh, the pr- that project project X, X. Movie. is that uh, video still up of you doing it? Uh, probably. Where you do I every so. character? Yeah, I did all the characters. And I dressed in drag. I had fun with it. That was pretty good. Yeah, people would call that. You went really deadpan these days. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, is like, yeah, man, the society was a lot better three years ago. You it know? was seven years ago, and <laughs> honestly, yes, it was. Yeah, I mean, actually, I, I'm fucking around. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's like there, I there. If you had said that's transphobic to me seven years ago I'd be like that's hilarious did you come up with that <laughs> that's really that's a good joke dude. Yeah. transphobic that's the funniest thing I've ever heard it's like homophobia but they mean for like tr- trannies which is the term they preferred back then all sketch comedy was drag for like 40 years oh yeah Monty Python kids in the hall it was all like dudes dressing up yeah. as women Jerry yeah. Lewis rest in peace his entire act was pretending to be mentally retarded yeah yeah, yeah. that was his whole thing no. pretending. Look, I'm, look I'm retarded I'm uh-huh. a retarded person. Yeah, look at these funny faces I'm doing. Yeah, aren't these look, faces I'm Asian. funny? Right now, you literally can't even say retarded. I went outside. I said retarded the other day. <laughs> you Somebody got shot. As people started giving me mean looks. <laughs> I was just screaming retarded at the top of my lungs. Retarded. <laughs> <laughs> retarded. Retarded. Dude, I was in front of a bar the other night, and this woman was just yelling, "I'm mentally ill," and just throwing pots of boiling water out the window yeah it was fucking awesome well, and then she just came into the bar for like hey, a drink <laughs> i i, I, I want to say first of all uh congratulations to her on her transition <laughs> number two i fully support her being equally represented in media she should have her own tv show yeah hell yeah. number three she's great did you hear about her all the girls love her she's like the next big thing so we're gonna have her at uh but yeah i don't yeah, know yeah why, why do you really hate this woman huh why don't you think about that I don't hate the woman. Why, you, it's, it's because it's a woman who's throwing No, I don't hate the water woman. Look, I don't have a problem with... Uh, none of those... Nick? The, the problem with, with... Even with, like, the Brandon shit isn't fucking Brandon. It's, like, these, like, brain-dead, you mm-hmm. know, uh, bookers who see their... Brain-dead Wardell, huh? Who, who see their talent in, like, figuring out what's cool rather than, like, what's funny. They want to mm-hmm. be ahead of trends rather than actually having their own discerning taste. Well, yeah, I mean, that's more m- often than not, you meet people in whatever your creative field is, who, the people that are working on the production or facilitation side that are trying to place bets and figure out what people will respond mm-hmm. to rather than actually liking for real liking the thing that they're involved in well yeah, it goes against everything that their job stands for the problem is we got a fucking situation now where people have meaningless jobs that they feel like they need to justify so they yeah, make yeah. up this weird thing where they're like oh my talent here what i specialize in is aggregating young up and coming vo- you're an idiot i mean it's yeah, 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 yeah. bullshit well, well it's like even the- even this thing for the show we we had that like we're trying to, to hire somebody to do the video stuff for the show yeah and so i asked people to send in resumes and i was like inundated with resumes and like the first seven i looked at i'm like yeah these all work these are all perfectly fine and i set up like a couple of interviews and then it was just like yeah i'll just pick this guy it like doesn't I'm not worried really about it this sort of work. Did you yeah. tell him? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to him already about it. Oh, good. Yeah. So when we n- never do the video stuff, <laughs> you know, it's because I'm lazy, not yeah. because of, mm-hmm. you know, my inability to do things. It's because I, you know, don't it's not that I don't have the talent, I just don't do the work. Mm-hmm. And the other people who really don't have talent, who get all the money, they neither have talent nor do they do any work. Is my point, I guess. Sure. Something like that. <laughs> uh, back to the sheet. Back to the sheet. Hurricane Harvey. What a cool name. Yeah, it Hell is yeah. a cool name. Yeah. I think of uh, Harvey Keitel, kind of. I think of. about Har- Harvey Davidson, which is the <laughs> wrong way to say the motorcycle. <laughs> I think uh, uh, Harvey Firestone. Harvey Danger. Kind of a big they should, Maybe they should call trans- it Hurricane Harvey Danger. Damn. Wow. I'm not <laughs> sick, but I'm not well. I think about Batman. You know, yeah. Harvey, that shit. Harvey Dent. Uh huh. Oh, cool. And then, like in the what cartoons. are some other famous Harveys? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that might be it. 
Um, yeah, so, uh, Jake, everyone, okay, all your people so are okay? Texas got owned. Does Texas <laughs> deserve this? The answer is yes. Well, I heard that Texas, they got enough guns together and they shot the hurricane. There's all these fucking people, like, tweeting, like, their uh, pictures of their fucking, like, hurricane, you know, th- shit that they gathered and it's like food and a generator and then just yeah. guns yeah. there's just this constant thing in texas where you just imagine you're gonna need these fucking guns it's yeah, never dude, happened zombies dude there's gonna be zombie apocalypse after no, the- there's animals you have to shoot to eat Oh yeah, raccoons. And nah, stuff. But it's nah, not dude, that. You know how many it's, fucking wild boars there are in Texas? It's are there? it's not for you the go fucking out of boars. city limits. Make some bacon. It's filled with boars. You could eat a boar. The boars are like taste like pig. Go to any bodega in New York. All of the meat is boar's made head. Out of, is <laughs> boars. It's made just from the, the head, head of the boar. The rest of the boar goes to the rest of the forty-eight states. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize. So even tur- boar's head turkey is from the head of a boar. Huh? It's. it's it's turkey style. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, you imbecile. Well, I'm you sorry. Ever I turkey didn't... bacon? That's pig that's made to taste like turkey. Oh. <laughs> you trick Muslims. Oh, oh, I didn't get that. Okay. Cool. I love that shit where they're like, I coated my bullets in bacon fat to send the Muslims straight to hell. Yeah, yeah. Chris Kyle, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because in That'll order to show him, you have right. to believe in that shit to begin with. Right. To think, like, what's going on there? Right. Why don't you just coat the bullets in shit? <laughs> you know, to shoot, <laughs> to shoot whoever, because then they have shit bullet in them, which is worse than going to hell. Yeah. I think, in my opinion, getting shot is pretty bad. I think I if think I were Muslim, would bother me. if I were Muslim, I don't think I would mind going to hell on a technicality. <laughs> if the other option is shit bullet, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah, that's that's a total dickhead move. Yeah. Um, the bacon thing. Yeah. Do you know where do you know where charcuterie comes from? You know the whole practice of making a bunch. That's of when you try to shit. when you try to. Cootery, but you accidentally <laughs> shit yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Shark cootery. It's it was in the Spanish Inquisition. They uh like Jews were hiding out, pretending to be Catholics. So they made all these different types of pork product, like different types of bacon. Oh, and Spanish they, crypto Jews. They would pass them around church and mm. then watch for people to like make a weird face, like like they never tasted it before. <laughs> it's just like force feeding Jews pork. It's really well, gross. Yeah, in. Uh, in the <laughs> Sino-Japanese War, they would detect spies by feeding them rice and seeing how they ate rice because Japanese rice is, like, stickier so they don't have to, like, stick their face in the fucking bowl when they eat it. Yeah. So if you didn't have your bowl all the way up to their face... Oh, uh, that's why like, some oh, people just fucking have that weird hunched over shit yeah, where they yeah, chow yeah. into it. Whoa, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got some facts on the show. Uh, so Corpus Christi, it seems like that's like, got the... Uh, the worst uh, of the storm. Yeah. Which yeah. means body of Christ. So there you go. Proof that there's no God. The white <laughs> devil nation. Have you guys ever been by nature? Um, have you ever been to the coast? In I've Texas? been to Corpus. I did a show there with Lucas and Bryson and we stayed, we all had to share a, a, a like a motel six room. Uh huh. And I remember like just sleeping on the floor and like getting completely drunk off like margaritas the night before and having then having to like drive back like whatever four hours it is to Austin, to Austin. hung over in the shitty car. I don't know how like I think I would die if I tried to do that now. To be a drunk again and drive. Yeah, it's like just deal with those levels of hangover. I mean, you still fucking drink all the time. Hell yeah. And you're thirty now. Isn't it like painful? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It's just shitting blood. Yeah, I was shitting blood for a while, but I mean the thing is, Nick, it's worth it. It is. <laughs> My life hasn't gotten any better except, you know, financially and career-wise since I sobered up. Yeah. I mean, and I mean that it. seriously. I know that sounds like a sarcastic point, but I am miserable. Yeah. No, I drinking's love, fun, man. There's nothing... There's, I, I've said it before, but there is no better feeling in the world than when you first fall off the wagon. <laughs> oh, that bet. first 30 minutes of being it's like, drunk again for it's the first kind of time, forbidden. you're like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> like, I forgot that you could feel this good all the time. Yeah. So <laughs> you know? I was I was staying in a while back. It was like, I was like, I'm not going to go out. It was like two in the morning and Eli Uden texted me and he goes, I'm at the Cobra Club, which is like right next to my apartment. Yeah. And I was like, I haven't even had like a drink like all night. Like, this is going to be dumb. I'm going to get a buzz on on. And so I went to the. He's like, Nah, come on, I'll buy you a drink or whatever. And I go to the bar, and he he fucking made the bartender make a thing called a ketchup, 
which was like just a pint just glass. Ketchup and vodka. It tasted kind of like ketchup, but it was just like a pint glass, of like Bacardi 151. I drank it at like three in the morning. I had the worst hangover I had in my fucking life. Like beyond like hours of drinking and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was insane. But that's kind of fun too, because like you never know what it's gonna feel like in the morning. It's yeah. like a fun, you know, random <laughs> there was spin that, of when, the wheel. When Joe Stats was making all those like he was making his own pickle juice in the microwave <laughs> so that he could like do pickleback shots or whatever. Yeah, what the fuck was and that? And we had one night where I was already like trashed. I was already really drunk, but it, it like nullifies the taste of whiskey. And oh yeah, picklebacks. The, the yeah. two yeah. of us, the two of us drank like a fifth <laughs> of uh, whiskey, mm-hmm. like the entire thing, mm-hmm. in like ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, just those pickleback shots, <laughs> and blacked out immediately. Fucking blacked out. I woke up in my apartment the next day, like on the coffee table, and fucking it was like noon. You know, or like Mm -hmm. maybe almost like 1 p.m. And I woke up and like, you know, when you're still kind of drunk in the morning, this was like, oh, I am still trash. (laughs) (laughs) I'm still like completely drunk out of my mind. Oh, I've gotten that. After like sleeping for like nine hours. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Whereas like I don't even feel hungover because I'm still so drunk. You got to just keep drinking at that point. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. For four years. (laughs) (laughs) Um, yeah, Corpus Christi. Uh, what's the what's the spring break spot in on uh, the, the elevator? Aransas. The elevator Whataburger in Corpus Christi. <laughs> yeah. They have a two floor Whataburger. <laughs> you go see that. You go see the Selena Memorial, uh-huh. which uh, to be tear honest, I think it should, down. It, they should tear it down. <laughs> It's we need true. to get if we're getting slips. rid of Robert E. Lee. We're, we're get, you know what I, I want to do is go loudly yeah. protest the removal of the Richard E. Lee statue. <laughs> Where you just don't even know his name and you're mad about it. <laughs> How dare you take down Richard R. Lee Ermey's statue? Yeah, yeah. The Richard Scary statue. Yeah. Uh, oh, is that Busy World? He's the guy that made those books. Yeah, like yeah. It. Is it Busy World? Is the name I don't remember. Books? There was like books. You know, because it's Lady a baby bugs. book. And you, you read those baby books. <laughs> I read baby Hell books. Hell yeah. Yeah. This is a joke I put down here. Is, uh, this is the best thing to happen to Corpus because... Uh, they're not going to get the... It's not like they were going to get the Olympics. They can barely get Slade Ham, who's the guy I'm shitting on for some reason. And <laughs> not even a bad get guy, really. Not yeah. even a... <laughs> Just an obscure fucking sniper shot to some really specific scene in Houston. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's Slade While they're getting Ham? hit by a hurricane. He's a, a, a Houston comic, not a particularly bad comic or anything. Just the only Houston comic I could think of. It is really funny to insult somebody in His a way that like, only Ham? three people will understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of the Olympics, did Tara Lipinski ever do porn? Because I remember she always had such a porny looking face. Yeah, she had DSLs. She yeah. had DSLs. She kind of looked like an ape. She had like a monkeyish look to her. <laughs> Wait, you think that's porn pornographic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, pornographic ape, like an, a, a dolled up ape. <laughs> yeah, you would fuck or abuse in some way. Was she from Texas, Tara Lipinski? Uh, briefly. Brief? Was, yes. Okay. I think she lived in... Uh, I had to look it up. I thought she was from Corpus when I wrote this down, and then I looked it up. She's not. She's from Pennsylvania, but she lived in Sugarland, Texas. I don't uh, know why I knew that, but... Wow. And she was a ice skater? The youngest uh, uh, figure skating Olympic champion in U- from the U.S. in history. See, Nick's really into two sports, powerlifting and f- uh, female figure skating. F- female figure yeah. skating. And bodybuilding, he wants to, right? Well, it would be gay if I was into male figure he was, skating. Yeah, he wants to clarify it's <laughs> not male figure <laughs> skating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Tara Lipinski. Would you fuck an Olympic gymnast, fellas? They're like four six, And dude. they don't have periods, so you can come in them. Uh, wait, <laughs> that does. how does that work? They stop ovulating. So Because they're, they get so they can't fucking get pregnant? Str- they get so strong, they stop ovulating. Some of them just never have periods. They stay children forever. The picture of the girl, what, whatever her name is, the really, really good one from My the last Olympics. My answer is no, by the way. I was trying to trick you into saying yes. You no, know, I don't would think I would. for that? Stop. Yeah, who would be like, right, hey, I'd fuck one. Hell, hell yeah, I'd fuck one. Wait, wait, and what's then I would say, you know, they're basically children. He'd be like, yeah, uh, it's not a child. They're and, tiny and jacked and like... 18 yeah. years old or whatever yeah yeah women yeah. that do sports stop having periods because it's unnatural for them to do anything besides you know if they maybe they've had what, ha- what happens members. then when they get old i would fuck an old washed up ex <laughs> yeah no uh what's skaters. her name smoking cool. yeah the, <laughs> they're hot like mickey from uh <laughs> yeah. rocky uh-huh. what's her name he used to be the hot. olympics mick 
Nadia Comaneci got hot. I don't know who that is. She got a perfect 10. She, I don't know She's who that a is. Romanian. You know be she a vampire? You know be a cool yeah. a cool uh, <laughs> a cool Olympics couple is one of those gymnasts who have like the world's smallest pussy and then she dates one of those guys that does the ski jump and then he just has his <laughs> dick out and he goes and he jumps two hundred feet in the air and lands dick first in the world's smallest pussy. The amount of like <laughs> You know, artillery commander level uh, positioning and, you know, tra- tra- trajectory you'd have to do. The trigonometry involved. Yeah, it's sheer confidence. I'll yeah. tell you why it's not possible. F- dicks you know, those, those it's not possible. Jumps, that seems like it's like, this isn't real. I remember watching it as like a kid and I was like, that doesn't make sense that that could happen. That uh-huh. you could jump like 4,000 feet in the air and not die. And I'm like, maybe I was just remembering it wrong because I was a kid. And then you watch as an adult, and it's like, no, that man is hundreds of feet that they're jumping. On yeah, their yeah. Skis. It's also really like the far. bougiest, dumbest, like extreme sports what, shit. Ski jumping. Ski. Like, why? That's not from. It's not like you can't even nail it to like the. I the would like Greek to do it just or anything. once to see if I had the courage to do it. I think it's tight. I think. It, I you think watch a GoPro video of like somebody going down one of those those ski, ski jumps. jumps? It's no. terrifying. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, like a roller coaster that you know just goes off the rails, <laughs> and there's like no, there's no strap or roller coaster. It's just a fucking hill. Yeah, yeah. But like, why they don't we just keep getting skis. more weird then? Because like, I was watching a bunch of YouTube clips of like those guys who do that squirrel suit shit. Where they just jump off the sides yeah. of cliffs yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. and just fly with a squirrel like suit. Sugar like gliders. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, why not make it? If we're making up dumb shit for the Olympics, like. That should be what we're watching because it's they have those. That's the X Games. Remember back in the '90s when the letter X was still badass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and everything, everything was... had to be green, neon green, and like everything <laughs> and, and, clothes were too big. I remember being a kid and thinking like, I don't understand how anything could look cooler. I was like, I don't then know the X Games within any than style at the time. Mm-hmm. It was like 1998. I'm like, I don't know where we go from here. Everyone already has like bleach we've, tips. We've and reached Oakley the end of black. history. Yeah, that's yeah. like it, I don't. I like I know it will, but it has to just be regressive. Like when uh, when at what point are people going to want to dress like they did in the 60s, where you wore shirts with like buttons on it that you had to tuck in. You know, I was like, no, everything needs to be basketball shorts and fucking <laughs> yeah. glow stick going through your nose. Extreme you know? games. Yeah, yeah. extreme mm-hmm. games. That's everyone wants to look like Tony Hawk forever. And then you just sort of turn it into a, a weird fat guy adult. Tony Hawk's a hero of mine. Personal hero of mine. Is he? Yeah. And why? I, I think I just always thought he was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he landed the 900, man. He did it recently at like you know, that video is 90 hilarious. years old. Or, yeah, he where just he's keeps just fucking like, his body he's just up like, and fuck. Then he finally lands it. And he's like, let's go. Let's fucking go. Yeah, he's like pissed off after he lands it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about this? So, steroids are a hot button issue in the Olympics. Um, there was a couple, the, the, the Kazakhstan weightlifters all had their medals uh, retroactively stripped because stripped, uh, they went back and piss tested them. Um, but if there was a steroid that just made your dick bigger, so it doesn't mm. make you stronger. Should that one be allowed? Keep in yes. mind, everyone's wearing singlets. so It, it, it should be wearing, allowed. But it makes your dick look bigger, so it's more intimidating to yeah. the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Conor McGregor at the weigh-in yesterday was just wearing underpants. Yeah. And he's got a hog. But uh, he was definitely like sort of Did rubbing it. Did you suck his it. dick? Did you jack He off was definitely it? rubbing it a little bit, like right at yeah. Floyd. He was like just swinging his, his big Irish plumber dick. At Floyd. Adam wants to have sex with McGregor. <laughs> I just do, think uh, he has a big penis. I don't think he has he a big penis. He objectively has a big penis. We're going to uh, do a... Not uh, to me. I don't think it's big, but uh, other people are saying it's big. Uh-huh. We're going to do a... Uh, looks uh, small to me. It looks small. Yeah. We're going to do a fight preview predictions. The fight is tonight. We're televising it live here at Cometown Central. Yeah, we're going to watch Kumia the fight Studios, tonight. AKA my apartment. The only reason I'm interested in watching the fight is because I know this is... You know, we've had some race war stuff the last couple of weeks. I just want to make weeks. my spin spinach dip and have people come over and enjoy my spinach dip that i can't have because that's I'm, cute i'm doing lean gains that's cute some carb cycling and i can't on my off days have bread mm-hmm. uh why what's that why uh, all the body improvement stuff i don't know it just feels because i got fat in los angeles and i want to get back in shape all right 
It just feels good. It's not like a deeply pathological thing or anything. I mean, what isn't a deeply pathological thing? It's like, oh, look at that guy. He's, he got in shape because he doesn't like himself. It's like you're a fucking alcoholic who spends half his life in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> your, but it's true. Well, I'm not are you sure that. that's not a pathological thing? <laughs> I mean, it's like you're just being critical about a guy that looks better than just you. Trying to Maybe that's a pathological you, thing is that you don't like people that are beautiful <laughs> because you're ugly and the only way you can deal with I it is by elevating struck- Nerve, yourself Jake. above them <laughs> through some sort of bullshit criticism. Uh, I'm just everybody wants to be better than they are, dude. Jake is a psychology expert. <laughs> yeah, okay. he went to school for it. Yeah, before and he, he f- got arrested for fucking <laughs> I don't know, drinking at a GameStop or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Being different, oh, playing man. DS while high on fucking you know whatever gas station cough medicine you were doing what we just saw was jake use something called psychoanalysis which is this <laughs> yeah a system I've just developed been friends with by Jews. for a long time and i like fucking with them a system developed by the jews no in order i was actually to- being defensive I, I was i'm not even particularly in shape so i'm not even one of those guys i'm just trying to take care of myself after i fucked myself up eating nothing but like you know candy bars for three months it's not like I'm a fucking bodybuilder yet. I will be someday, you know. <laughs> Nick's been doing the And then the once walk. that happens, I will crush every one of these open mics. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole them. reason for <laughs> yeah. physically it's, crush. It's because of Pine Box <laughs> Rock Shop. <laughs> it's the origin story of this thing. I will go there and crush their skulls. Back to the Hot Take Minute headlines. Transgender military ban. Good. Uh, the eclipse, bad. Uh, Amazon lowers Whole Foods prices, uh, good or bad. It's bad because it means black people can go to Whole Foods now. Um, side discussion: What would a Whole Foods for black people look like? Jamil had a really good joke about that, so yeah, I'm gonna steal the joke. So I can, good, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna dude. sit out on this conversation so I don't steal his joke. A uh, bunch of flaming hot Cheetos and orange soda, and if you don't have orange soda, Sprite. Yeah, that was my favorite when I worked at Domino's. Y'all got orange soda? All right, let me do a Sprite then. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny when you like, like hold the phone away from your head and you call it like it's somebody else. Like. Every time, dude, I would like fucking be at the register and like I would pick up the phone. And they'd be like, "Is this Domino's?" And I'd be like, "Extra large pepperoni pizza, <laughs> <laughs> two liter of Sprite." For real though. And then I would just go to the to ring up and then you know like cash or whatever and then just wait and then take the order and then of course it would be exactly that every fucking time <laughs> uh yeah i mean i did you guys ever used to think sprite was the healthy soda yeah dude when they had that commercial with like kobe doing yeah, double yeah. unders and fucking like <laughs> d- you know like doing uh, uh lat pull downs at fucking like seven o'clock in the morning yeah it's this and then running up and down stadium steps and it's like quench your thirst and it's like wow that's what kobe drinks while he's exercising <laughs> i really yeah. i really lo- sure. used to love those kobe sprite commercials i still have a kobe sprite can and my parents have house like a collector's oh, you saved item the can yeah i'm a big no i didn't even drink open it i was oh, really? just a big kobe bryant fan growing up that's cool i still am um have you ever tried to put the can up your ass it's weird that i already had that <laughs> that was in uh, uh yeah mm. uh the eclipse that was pretty big a lot of great eclipse jokes on social media guys yeah you see all those a lot of people posting a mitsubishi eclipse yeah that's wow cool. hilarious yeah oh, yeah no. that's so that's funny. the same word I did that. yeah did you <laughs> yeah. yeah you're a fucking idiot yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what it, man i was like it, the day that was happening i was like we should all just log off because we're all just yeah. gonna do the same shit the one i wanted to do but i don't have photoshop on my new computer is to uh the sun baby from Teletubbies yeah. is the first picture. Somebody did it. Oh, no. okay. No. And then you see the moon coming by and it's superimposed on it and you just make it grayscale. Is a man's ass, the back <laughs> of his, his lower back and his legs. And he's standing like this. So the moon is going in front of the baby's he's face. He's getting his dick implying sucked. Implying that it's a man getting his dick sucked by the baby son. From yeah, the I, th- I think Paul F. Tompkins did exactly that. Was there a man's ass? Yeah, it was a man's moon? ass implying that well, the how about baby's this? dick Paul was... Faggot. Tompkins. <laughs> Take that. That's what it stands for? Yeah. Whoa. For doing that joke before me. <laughs> How dare you? No, he um, didn't. Amazon lowers Whole Foods prices. Uh, I got nothing on that. 
Yeah, I don't even... I What's don't their care. play there? What's the big play? Well, they bought Whole Foods. We're, the time for the Wall Street Minute here on Comtown. I thought that they, they're they going to make uh, Whole Foods like deliver like deliver part of Amazon now. What happened to the drones that were supposed to bring shit to me? Yeah, they yeah. talked about that like fucking six years ago. I think ago. someone had sex with one of the drones. <laughs> 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 Created like a new AIDS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nanobiotic <laughs> AIDS. Yeah, that's, the guy. that's the guy. What's going to be the new AIDS? What animal will it be? A koala? <laughs> <laughs> if he gets my guy goes, his dick sucked by a giraffe from like 20 <laughs> feet away somebody what if what if we find out this is my because you know it's just a hypothesis that someone uh. had sex with an aid a, a monkey really the, the the probable answer is that someone was eating bush meat and that's how they transferred the fucking uh the okay virus. they're eating pussy yeah, it was a woman that didn't shave her pussy, and that's what causes AIDS. Yeah. If, oh, once again, women, di- yeah. women's fault. Yeah, get back in the kitchen. Calm stop down. having sex. <laughs> don't I have love, sex with me. Shave your pussy and don't have sex. <laughs> Use your pussy to make food that is fully cooked. <laughs> it was a woman that cooked an ape in her pussy. Yeah. And that's what created, <laughs> that's what created it. Is it was a woman made chimp ribs inside of her unshaved <laughs> vagina. <Yeah. laughs> which, you know. <laughs> she used it as like an oven. God said. That's in. That's one of the first words in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Is, he said, and, mm-hmm. and the Lord said, let there be light. And then there was light. And then he said, don't make chimp ribs in your pussy, <laughs> especially if it's unshaved. And what did Eve do? That's what she, she did. She fucking cooked up them ribs, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In her big old bush. And she fucked that snake. She did. She shoved the snake in her pussy. Did you used to ever Hallelujah. think that that snake was a was like a cool black guy? No. Okay, never mind. Why you did? Yeah, I kind of. I I thought you spoke kind of in a little bit A A V E. Oh, was that like a smooth tales? talking? Maybe it was on one of the baby shows. That's why I always wondered that in VeggieTales, because it's supposed to be Bible stories. So, like, Adam and Eve, the forbidden fruit would just be, like, a friend of theirs that they cannibalize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand the appeal of those shows. They take What if we take one thing that sucks and combine it with another thing With the sucks? Bible? <laughs> yeah. And then kids will like it. It's two wrongs make a right. Mm-hmm. Is that the answer there, folks? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Amazon lowers Whole Foods prices. What do we think about that? Let's let's what's, talk about what's that. What's the some play more. here? <laughs> what's the play, <laughs> <laughs> folks? What's our position on this? They're really trying to take over just the whole industry, right? What Whole Foods? Yeah. With uh, what is the industry all business? Well, no, but like Amazon is trying to like in the same way that like Netflix is trying to just be like like. They're, they're buying way too much shit to try to like establish themselves as like the go to like the only thing uh, yes. yeah. I've uh, given that's Amazon what, that's, that's but that's all businesses can I tell you guys Adam Steel Corner for a second I want to go on Shark Tank and just bring like a portrait of my rich father <laughs> <laughs> and then just show it to the sharks he has millions of dollars and he gives it to me and they're all like I'm listening yeah <laughs> that's good and then the black guy I forget his name I Damon think, I think he owns like a series of steakhouses Damon <laughs> yeah that is Andre <laughs> it's Andre from Andre's Steakhouse <laughs> he's the original Andre <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Damon John from Shark Tank is Andre Shake Steakhouse much, personified. Dude. Yeah, was he like he was like uh, the Fubu guy? Oh, I really? Think. Yeah, I think maybe. What does Fubu actually stand for? It's uh, for us by us. Is it? What does it actually stand for? Yeah, what does uh, it actually stand for? I thought that was like a cool name that people gave to it. Uh, maybe I don't know. I thought it was Actually, cool because I graduated 2005 from high school. So we, we were like, yo, we're the FUBU class. Oh, five. Very cool. Sorry. <laughs> no, it actually does stand for forest bias. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't think yeah. that's a made up thing. But then what's Fila? Well, do you remember that joke remember from How High? Atlanta? What? There's a joke in How High. Uh, Bufu? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What was that all about? Uh... Black, black. Buy us, fuck you. That was it. Oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't about butt fucking. But boof, you know, boof. Yeah, boofu, butt fucking. 
Is FUBU still around? You know, it's funny. I'm seeing. I don't know. Starter jackets used to be like real hot 20 years ago, and then yeah. Starter as a brand kind of declined, and then they were just like Walmart's in-house brand. Mm-hmm. So you could get starter jackets and like starter shoes and starter shit for like like to starter sneakers are like ten dollars a pair at mm-hmm. Walmart. But the styles ago. are whack. Uh, yeah, but uh, Urban Outfitters is now selling starter shit and Champion shit's like becoming like Champion is like hype beast now. Yeah, which is funny because it's garbage. It's a garbage brand. It's not garbage. They're actually pretty good. The hoodies. No, nah, there's shit. Adam's Deal Corner. If you want to get before the winter starts, <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. If you're wearing, if you're wearing, if you're wearing a crew and it's not Nike, get the fuck out of here. All right. If you're wearing a, a Russell Athletic or a Champion crew neck, no Russell Athletic whack. Both of them, both of them are fucking shit. No, champion, champions, good quality. I wear, I wear Everlast, which is the good cheap brand. Everlast crew next. What are you, some sort of boxing guy? Yeah, I am, dude. That's cool. And I'm about to box your fucking. I'll box your pussy ears. all the way out of your asshole. I'm gonna punch your pussy so pussy? hard it blows. <laughs> like one of those guys you squeeze and it goes in their ears come out. <laughs> That's, uh, what, that's what I'm doing with my my new shorts and my bodybuilding lifestyle. Uh, you're seeing the little cows that you <laughs> squeeze and the, like a little turd comes out of its yeah. ass. But no, it's, I haven't. It's but a truncated it, ass. You can do that with any animal. You pick up a squirrel, squeeze it, and stuff uh-huh. out of its ass and mouth. Yeah, you I got squeeze it really hard, and then it'll it'll start shitting. I found that with like lots of different. You catch a bird and you squeeze it real hard. <laughs> then it'll shit. Yeah, its eyes come out. And what was that thing where, uh, where Nick, <clears throat> as a, you, you you torture uh, animals? What's, what's that called? What's that all about? What do you mean? Like when you were a child, you'd like find small animals. You'd it's torture a part them. of bodybuilding. It's, it's bodybuilding. Yeah. 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 I well, you have that, to before I, before. I mean, it's not good. I don't want to get too uh, psychoanalytical. We do have Jake on the show, yeah. but I think that that says something about you that when you were a child, you used to capture small animals and torture them. I think that that says that you have certain personality. It says I'm a good businessman. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I think mean, it, categorically, if you look at at uh, people that do those sorts of things in bodybuilding by hurting animals. Uh-huh. You know, bench pressing cats into a ceiling fan. <laughs> yeah. Just lifting animals. <laughs> just dead cats. <laughs> Nick just kept lifts just a, a sack of dead cats. With the cat impaled on either end. <laughs> yeah. This is normal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That guy doesn't have friends. It's self improvement. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's two hippos. Home improvement. All right. Uh, there we go. That's the joke at the end of the show. Is he said self improvement, and then I said home improvement. So. Oh yeah. That like works. The sponsor. first no stop episode. I think it went pretty smooth. I'm gonna do tighter notes next time. That's the note I got for myself on this. And you guys were good. You got feedback? Please let me know if you there's something else you want mm-hmm. out of it. You know, you want to tell me how the show should work. Go ahead, send me a a DM on Instagram. It'll go to the message request folder, and I'll never see it. So thanks. Have a nice day.